Hello, I'm Helen Arcanchu, CEO of the YWCA of Northern New Jersey, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Thank you for watching our annual Top 10 Countdown of things that we are most grateful for in 2021. This list was compiled through a survey that we do with our staff each year and come up with our top 10 highlights. We hope that you enjoy our list. Number 10, YWTV. Our Facebook Live program continued to showcase our mission by sharing vital information and resources and elevate the voice of Black women in our community through our Share the Mic Now Spotlight. We evolved the effort to respond to the changes happening around us and embrace technological upgrades to strengthen our outreach. Number nine, return to summer camps. After a year of absence due to COVID restrictions, we were excited to return to our Mawa and Duwan camps with new names, enhanced safety protocols, and many new fun and educational initiatives. Our previous camp names were retired to align better with our organizational values of not supporting culturally insensitive practices and allowing us to more fully live our mission. Campers experienced action-packed days filled with fun and friendship that supported growth and development. Number eight, our Women's Leadership Conference. This annual event was offered in a manageable virtual format this year that allowed for weekly inspirational messages from inspiring women leaders. Sharing weekly stories of courage and inspiration kept participants feeling energized, engaged, and encouraged. Number seven, serious about STEM. Our new program launch was overwhelmingly received. Girls from Hudson, Bergen, Morris, and Passaic counties were introduced virtually to STEM concepts like science, technology, engineering, mathematics, all to help them better discover and explore exciting career paths within science. Number six, standing with justice-involved women. Using our collective voice and the power of YWCA Northern New Jersey, we hosted a press conference along with state legislators, advocates, and community partners to help create further awareness around the need for urgent action to protect women at the Edmund Mahan Correctional Facility for Women. In addition to hosting a press conference, we entered into a partnership with the New Jersey Reentry Corporation and launched the Circle of Care, a 12-week group to support women in transition from the Edmund Mahan Women's Correctional Facility as they re-enter our community. Number five, Stop Asian Hate. YWCA Northern New Jersey came together to support our AAPI communities. Through a town hall discussion and YWTV programming, we were able to discuss the impact of the Asian hate that's been happening, the violence, and talk about resources and ways that we can support anti-racist action. Number four, STEM Summer Camp. This year, we introduced a free week-long in-person environmental camp for girls that built leadership skills, confidence, and allowed them to be immersed in environmental topics such as climate change, ecosystems, the food cycle, horticulture, and so much more. Number three, Eureka. We added a new component to our work supporting non-white female entrepreneurs. Our WE360 Business Essential Programs was introduced in partnership with Eureka.biz. Together, we helped launch and supported new businesses. Coaching, mentorship, and a step-by-step -step course was offered to them to help increase their potential for success. There also was a pitch competition that allowed for them to increase their capital for their businesses. And we were so fortunate to have two winners from our association this year. Number two, diversity, equity, and inclusion. To ensure that our mission is lived within our organization, as well as externally in our community, we provide a dedicated time and space for our team to deepen our work in creating an equitable and fair workplace practices and program service delivery. Number one, return to the office. 
After a year and a half of having our team work almost exclusively virtual, we returned to the office taking into account the lessons that were highlighted by the pandemic. We chose to pilot a hybrid workforce design for our team that allowed us to continue to have a strong community impact and presence, but also create a more flexible work environment. Our hope is that we can model this design for our fellow nonprofit organizations and our um, companies and our community so that together we can create more work environments that are supportive of working women and families. My thanks to the team at the YWCA of Northern New Jersey for helping make 2021 such a success and creating such impactful programs for our community. Our staff, our volunteers, and our board of directors have worked tirelessly over this year, and we're so grateful for all that they have done. And we are thankful to all of you, our supporters in the community who help us make our daily work happen. And we'd also like to thank all of you out in the community for helping support our daily work and efforts around building gender and racial equality for all. We thank you for your volunteering, your support, for watching, encouraging, sharing information, and staying connected to us through all of our various platforms. Please consider making a, one more donation before the end of the year, and you can do that by online through the link that we're providing here at ywcanj.org backslash donate, or you can do it through Facebook, or you can text equality to 707070. Together, we create change and support creating a vital community. We thank you so much for all that you have done to support the YWCA this year and sharing our important message and mission. We wish you all a peaceful and healthy and happy new year and a very fresh new start for all of us in 2022. Thank you for joining us for this year of YWTV and we will see you in January.